Hello, we are so excited that you'll be a part of the virtual ACS Spring 2021 Macromolecular Chemistry, the Second Century. We greatly appreciate the time and effort you put forward as a presenter. This video is intended to support and prepare you for your presentation. Whether you are a seasoned presenter or new to participating, this video, along with the corresponding presenter guide, will provide you with all the details you need to know about the event, specifications, and requirements for virtual presentations and videos to help you deliver the best possible experience for you and our audience. The corresponding presenter guide outlines what is needed from you as a presenter at ACS Spring 2021, and it includes dates, deadlines, and policies. Please note that you are expected to abide by the presenter agreement and attendee and volunteer code of conduct, which can also be found in the presenter guide and on the ACS website. All presenters must register for the meeting. If you fail to register, your abstracts will be withdrawn, removed from the meeting platform, program, technical programming archive, and CAS database. Registration is open through the end of the event, April 30th, 2021. Please be sure to review the presenter guide for all of the details on the code of conduct. Digitel is the primary platform for the event. You will find all of the event information and agenda in Digitel. The technical sessions themselves are going to be broadcast through Zoom, accessed through the platform. If you have any concerns or restrictions with using Zoom, please contact nationalmeetings at acs.org for alternate options. And this email address is also in the presenter guide. Technical sessions will be presented through the Zoom platform with live presentations and live Q&A. You will be required to log into the virtual meeting platform with your registration information, your ACS ID. And that is where you will be able to click into your Zoom session. Plan for Q&A immediately following your presentation and within your scheduled presentation time. In the virtual environment, there is an expectation that presentations start and end on time. Your session presider will assist with timekeeping. Please prepare to end at your scheduled time, including some time for Q&A. Now we'll move on to camera readiness and some tips to improve the experience. You'll wanna start by choosing a quiet location if possible. Many of us are working in shared space, whether we are in an office or working from home. In those cases, it is important to let people around you know that you are presenting to a live audience. And think of framing yourself and about your background. There are optional virtual Zoom backgrounds available on the ACS meeting web pages on the image resource page. If you would prefer a live background, it is best to not be against a flat wall, and it's good to have a little bit of depth and be mindful of what's behind you. Your certificates, artwork, or plants are great. And be sure you do not have any copyrighted images behind you. And by copyrighted images, we mean things like movie posters. A good rule of thumb is to not have photos of children behind you in the broadcast. And photos of pets would be okay. You want to have your head and your torso in the center of the screen. You do not want to be cutting off the top of your head or have too much headspace above you. You may need to prop up your computer so you can look more directly in the camera. And lighting may be the single most important thing to think about for looking good on camera. You wanna be lit from the front as much as possible. If you have a window that you can face, that would be the best option because you get that nice natural light coming in. If possible, you do not wanna have the window behind you. Zoom has settings to adjust for low light built into the video settings. Go to your settings, click on video, and under my video, you will see the option to check adjust for low light. So moving on to sound. It's recommended that you use some type of connection that has a microphone and not just the built-in microphone on your computer. You do not need to have a fancy headset. You can use the earbuds that came with your phone or AirPods or anything along those lines. We'll go over a few more camera ready tips and then we'll talk about the presentation itself. 
In terms of dress code, you want something that is not too many patterns or stripes. Bold colors are often good and simple. And it's nice to have a statement piece like a tie, a necklace, or a scarf. It's also good to be wearing something that is different from the background behind you because it will help make you pop out. Try not to wear the same color shirt as whatever your wall color or wallpaper might be that day. Dress how you're comfortable. And to get in the right mindset, dress like you are presenting and you will present better. Next, we'll talk about presentation best practices. ACS has optional presentation slide templates on the ACS meeting web pages on the image resource page. This template is strictly optional as a starting point for your content and it's not required. Avoid text heavy slides as much as possible. We recommend no more than six lines of text on a slide and you wanna use minimum font size of 24. Ensure good contrast between text and background light color text on dark background or dark color text on white background. Avoid light color font on a light colored background like yellow text on a white background. Sans serif is typically the most readable font. Be generous with spacing between letters, words, and lines. Use mixed case, not all caps, and use bold for emphasis. If you are using Microsoft PowerPoint, they have an accessibility checker built in to use as a final check. When presenting, speak clearly and at a slightly slow pace. Avoid using jargon and describe items on your charts. Do not only say this chart shows percentages, say this is a pie chart that shows 20% of people responded this way and 80% responded this way. Talk through the slides as though the audience is not able to see the information on the slides. Use your own images or images that you have permission to use on your slides. You're more compelling than your slides. We recommend that you use your slides as seasoning instead of only reading from them. Think about bringing a high level of energy to your voice and emphasizing things. The audience is going to draw on whatever energy that you bring forward. So think about how to make it an engaging experience for your audience. Thank you again for your time and effort being a presenter for this event. The presenter guide includes some additional information, best practice tips, articles that dive deeper into some things that we reviewed today, as well as a checklist to help you prepare. If you have any questions as you prepare, please contact nationalmeetings at acs.org. Thank you everyone and have a great day.